Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nonon Films. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update iMovie to its latest version, iMovie 10.1.4, which was just recently released. Let's go ahead and go to our actual app store first. I'm going to go straight to the top right hand corner and show you guys through spotlight search, uh, top right hand corner, little spyglass icon. You can search uh, app store on pop up and you can just launch it right from there as well. But uh, on the far right hand side here through the updates tab, you'll more than likely have uh, iMovie update, maybe other updates here as well, um, as long as you're signed into your Apple account. But um, here I'm going to scroll down since I've already updated it. I'll have it right here. And this update to uh, 10.1.4 for iMovie resolves a stability issue for some users who upgraded from a previous version in which they had shared movies or trailers. Now, if I go into iMovie here and at the very top about iMovie, um, I'm in on version 10.1.4, as you can all see. I have not yet noticed any layout changes to actual iMovie, but uh, as the update actually currently states and from any notes that I have gathered, all focus for this update was to resolve any issues that you guys may have been having with your exporting and exporting the file YouTube directly to Facebook and additionally with your sharing features through theater and iCloud connection if you have um, additional movies and trailers that you're actually trying to share through iCloud and sharing them with families or share them straight to your Apple TV they're trying to resolve all additional issues so that you can actually access these a lot simpler through your other devices. Now that's really it for this update and uh, be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. But also as a side note, if you do use Apple products a lot, if you have like a MacBook Pro and you have an iPhone, you might wanna go ahead and go to the top right hand corner here, this little cloud icon and go ahead and click in it and it'll bring up your iCloud section. And sometimes it'd be worth a try to checking it out if you don't have it enabled, try it out and uh, try uh, seamless sharing files between your devices and maybe even sharing videos between your devices. Give it a shot. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life be